and it's very, very important that we have this, what we call SARC, of Southern Area Aquatics um, and Recreation Center. First of all, it's a multi-generational facility, the first of its kind, but also when we think of swimming, it is imperative that people know how to swim. And when I look at our communities, and particularly the minority communities in Prince George's County, um, children of minorities, particularly African-American children, drown at a rate three times higher than other children. We have to put an end to that. This is going to help us put an end to that. And people need uh, aquatic. Uh, my wife broke her femur last December. She used that aquatic uh, pool to, to get re-healed. The youngsters, they need a place for their recreation. You know, we uh, for the for the gyms and communities like the Greater Brandywine Civic Association, they need places to meet. And this is going to serve all of the needs of Southern Prince George's County. I want to thank the Park and Planning Commission. We're all going to be so proud when we see those little kids running in there with their swimsuits and the seniors going for their exercise classes and all the programs. And we're going to feel good because we know we gave up our time, ourselves. We, we help to make this happen. I am uh, delighted that this facility is here. My grandkids had to learn how to swim. They live in Clinton uh, at the YMCA in Alexandria. Uh, what a shame uh, with the tax dollars, tax base, uh, and the uh, number of people that live in our great county that we did not have a facility. Uh, but with modern times comes the need for modern facilities. I want to uh, spend a little bit of time thanking our friends at Park and Planning, Parks and Recreation. You know, uh, they are unsung heroes in all of this because oftentimes when you're in the, in the, in the staff at a lot of these agencies, you don't, no one, you don't get a whole lot of attention. And they're not doing this for the attention, but they put, you know, so many thousands of hours of their time into making this project and, and working uh, so that this project could happen. So when this opportunity came up, and I believe you know, this was uh, negotiated by our predecessor owner, but PACG will honor this commitment, and we have, we just made the second wire transfer, the second million dollars uh, last Monday. Um, so uh, this is the, the result of a 2040 master plan, which was a needs assessment that we did probably in 2010, where we looked at the demographics, we looked at what was the built environment, and we looked at the needs uh, for our communities. And this project was identified as one of the first of a multi-generational center, uh, which is the beginning of what we will begin to build in Prince George's County. It's a monumental moment uh, for Prince George's County and for the citizens in Brandywine uh, and the surrounding area. South County is done without for so long. And I'm glad to see you finally get something, but not only just something, but something probably is going to be the, the envy of the entire county once we're done, because we, we have done a lot this session. As a member of the advisory board, I am confident that this complex will be a world first class state-of-the-art facility and I'm confident that it will offer programs that will serve the needs or accommodate the needs of all age groups here in Brandywine and throughout the southern area as well.